Welcome back once again, OPs, to Okami, episode 17, the real episode 17. Sorry about last episode being a bit short, but I had to go somewhere, and I couldn't, like, not go there, and that just sucks because I moved there. Uh, Sorry about this. Okay. So. We really gonna go in there? Really? Are you serious? Yo, my bro. That's basically what you're trying to say. Well, it's you mad sis. Um. Uh, yeah. I'm getting a really bad vibe here. Uh, you sure we, we're we ready? Maybe we should go back outside. Are we ready? Hell yeah we are! Alright then, let's go for it. Leap first, think later. Look on me, there's a golden gate. It's this basically it's a save mirror except you don't need to like press Z to like enter. Anyway, big spider web and our first boss fight. Fail. Oh, it's... Yeah, that's her butt crack. You know, just saying. They actually put that on. Ow, nice going, furball. I keep telling you not to space out like that. <laughs> okay, somebody... Uh, I I really want... I just really want to take a screenshot. Oh, no. It's, it's covered up by the scroll. <laughs> I don't think they meant to do that, but... Hey, something moved. Whoa. Check out this big old flower. That has eyes. We must have stumbled onto something here. Flowers like this are usually just packed with treasure. Is that a dog down there? Our first bo boss fight is Orochi! Hey, let me go, wolf breath. I'm all covered in with your slobber now. And no, our first boss fight is not Orochi. But, check out that shadow. I see eight. Wait, it couldn't be. Are you that dog that has been sniffling about? I will not allow you to ruin my master's triumphant return. This is the Queen Spider. Sticking your nose where it does not belong will get you killed. Speak your last words, fool. Crazy fool. And it has hair. And I have the normal weapon for some reason. And I'm just like, how dare you! Dog is not usually on my menu, but I shall make you an exception. What you talking about? I saw that dog you gobbled up. And besides, this ain't no dog. This here is a god. Well now, 
the beast can speak. Very well, then. I shall send you back to where you came from. Heaven! This shall not hurt a bit. Stand still for just a moment. I have to beat this boss in ten minutes because of how long the cutscene was. And we begin our fight. Right now... In fact, actually no, not right now. Well, actually, you wanna just put those vines to her bum. And then she does that, and pass that at those eyes. They're like her heart. And then when she starts moving like that, you want to move, otherwise that happens. <laughs> oh, I want to wait till I get a... This may sound weird, but a butt shot of her. Because I kind of need that. Uh, here. And she does that and gets rid of all the vines that are on her. And... Hey, come on, well. Yes. just slash and slash and that's it I think that was two minutes yeah that was two minutes just about and that was the first boss of Okami defeated and it turns into a massive flower And thus, Amaterasu was able to traverse the vine-covered ruins and defeat the de devious spider queen lurking within. The ugly Arachnid's body had been turned into a beautiful blossom, and a feeling of tranquility reigned throughout the ruins. Inside the hearty blossom was discovered a tiny and defenseless dog, presumably consumed by the fearsome queen. Just when, just when everything had begun to settle down, Snarling Beast, a weapon long sealed away by the Spider Queen's magic, appeared before Amaterasu's eyes. A weapon that I'll only use as my sub weapon. You obtained by an instrument, Snarling Beast. Reflector marked with a beastly seal, grants ink bullet power. Spider Queen was hiding a sacred weapon. Tricky old bag. Hmm. Maybe we'll get more weapons if we defeat some other monsters. Anyway, I can't wait to see what this one does. Look at that army. The dog's just sleeping. <laughs> Wonder if this is Umi. You know, the dog that kid was looking for? Let's bring him back once he wakes up. But first... How about a good victory, Howl? It might even wake him up. Victory! Victory! Hey, would you like to save the game? Of course I would. Silly little game. Okay. And then we will end up outside of the ruins. Yeah, exactly. Bad doggy, give me back my key. I gotta go save Ume, quick. Huh? Ume? 
Is that you? Are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? It must have been so scary all alone. <laughs> What's wrong, Ume? <clears throat> About your dog, kid. He was deep within the ruins and he didn't seem to want to leave. Really? How come, Ume? You mad at me for running away without you? You got it all wrong, kid. You only think you left your dog behind. Truth is, he decided to stay at the ruins himself. He did? But why? Maybe he was trying to set an example by showing you how anyone, even a dog, could have, could have an adventure. Da, 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 da. Look at this way. Look at it this way, even. There's not much separating a boy from a man. They grow up before you know it and accomplish great things. Da 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 da. I see. So I guess you knew everything, Ume. Like how my dad told me to go fix the bridge destroyed by the storm, and how I tried to get out of it because I was scared of failing. But your fearless adventure has changed me. You've given me the courage to, to stop shirking responsibility. Yay! My dad's fishing pole. I lost that in the forest some time ago. Did you sniff it out in those ruins? All by yourself? Well, I'm going to fix that bridge all by myself. I doubt you will. Boy, is Dad going to be surprised. Go kill him! Okay, I think I'm going to go to where we have to go and then finish the video. Um, wait. Actually, I'm just going to say... This. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Tell your friends, like the video... And subscribe to my channel. See you guys next time. I said see you guys next time.